This is the fourth instalment in my A to Z of favourite series, which must mean we've reached letter D. And I think letter D was easier than the previous letters, but the films that begin with letter D that I love, I really do love. I'll do these in reverse order, but number one in this list is actually my joint top favourite all-time film ever. So I'm pretty excited about that one. The honorary mentions first from Dead Silence. The reason I love this is when a ventriloquist film is done right, I love it. And this one had such a great narrative development that I thought it was just fantastic. Then we have Deck the Halls 2006. Really beautiful Christmas film, a lot of fun. One that I would happily watch every Christmas. And there's also the 1989 Pam Dauber film do You Know the Muffin Man, which is about a child or some children who are going through um, trial, uh, going through a trial, a legal trial, because they've been sexually abused and it's very raw. And I wasn't sure whether to put this one or the next film in as my number five on my list of top fives, but the other one just made the cut. And that other film was Django Unchained. Wow. So I watched this very late to the party. I only watched it a couple of months ago, maybe, maybe half a year ago. And everyone said it was phenomenal and I was like, eh, how good can a film be? And then I sat down and watched it and just, I could not take my eyes off of it and it's incredible. Every, any film that deals with slavery is going to be hit or miss and this one is definitely hit. That's really awkward, not a right word to use for this. It was a great film. Number four is a film that has a great nostalgia feeling for me. This is the 2006 film Devil Wears Prada. This was one of the first films that I saw when I was kind of getting into not adult films, Amy, when I was getting into kind of non-children's films. I saw this in the cinema and I loved it and I suddenly thought, oh, I want to work in the fashion industry. I was probably sitting there wearing a tracksuit and trainers or something. I was not the right person, but a really great film and whenever I watch it, it just instantly takes me back to that time in my life. Number three is one of the few films that can actually terrify me. And that is the 2005 film The Descent, which is about a group of friends who go in a cave and weird things start to happen. And it, this is the ultimate kind of mind boggle because nothing is as it seems. You can't work out if they're hallucinating or if it's real and it's, it's gripping. I love it. The penultimate one on this list is one that I don't think anybody has ever mentioned to me. It's certainly a film that I think is underrated because it is evidently one of the best films I've ever seen. This is the uh, 2009 film Deadline, which is a Brittany Murphy film. And she plays this writer who um, has various mental, mental health issues and she goes off to live in this, to, to spend time in this remote house. Uh, obviously, slightly empty, spooky old house. It's, it's going to be creepy. And when she's there, weird things start to happen and there's kind of like a psychological, a really deep psychological aspect to it. But I also really love her character and as a writer myself, I, I felt a lot of kind of strong connection with this film and I just wish more people would see it so I can talk about it more. It, it's brilliant, I love it. And number one, as I said, is my joint top all-time favourite film. Oh Captain, my Captain, it's Dead Poet Society. I love and miss Robin Williams every day and Dead Poet Society, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot watch it. That's really bizarre, I just looked over the road and there is somebody just staring out of their window, kind of in my direction. Honestly, I just, I love it. It's, it's phenomenal, it's, it's gorgeous, it makes me cry and it's the only film that I watch that does make me cry where I'm willing to watch it and I, I don't know how many times I've seen it but it's 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 gorgeous I love it so there are my top five D films now over to you if you had to pick just five plus maybe some honorary mentions favorites for films that begin with the letter D what are you going to choose <laughs>